Here's a video of my red truck journal that I finished for the November Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. And what I had left. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I have finished my red truck journal that I made for the November Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. And I'm gonna show you what I had left. I had some of the ribbon left that I had chosen. I had this much, I mean, it's still quite a bit of the burlap and lace ribbon. I had well, quite a few pages of my note papers. I had I just found these on the up there in the top of the desk. So I had those left. That's another scrap. I used one sheet of these, so I have another sheet of those left. There's the other notepad. I had three pieces of this, and I've used them for something else already. I have the roll of a whole lot of the roll of this wrapping paper and the deer wrapping paper. I do have some pages left of the Merry Christmas with the red truck tissue paper. I used all but these stickers from this sticker sheet. I have like 18 to 20 pages from the paper book that I used, the, cop the pages, because I used a uh, um, paper from Dollar Tree that gave me um, bigger pages that fit perfectly into this book. Um, I, I had napkins left, but I doled those out in the Red Truck kits and shared those. Let's see what else. <laughs> Let's see what else I used. Oh, bling. I used all the bling. Every single piece of bling is in here. And I think, I think that's, that's it. So there you go. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the journal. So my book I got at Dollar Tree and I, um, I do have book pages left. It is nine and a quarter by about six and an eighth okay and then the pages that I used were they fit in here perfectly and those were from the note the note paper at Dollar Tree okay I this is a napkin that I have put on my cover and there's note paper here this is some of the pieces left when I fringed the burlap the Merry Christmas is from the napkin, and then I've added the bling and added pieces of the checkered paper. The snow came from when I would take the the lace off of the burlap. The, the stitching that was there would puff up like this, and so the snow is from the stitching from the... Uh, lace on the burlap. Oh, I also used the fingernail polish and I still have quite a bit of the fingernail polish left as well. And um, so I added burlap to the outside. We have two signatures, five hole pamphlet stitch, and the back was left the way that it was. Um, we decoupaged on the inside here. We have a pocket with some note paper in it. Here is part of the napkin decoupaged. And I also put the checkered paper in the uh, binding here. I did, this paper had the checkered paper going all the way across. And um, it was, it was um, Franken paged back here. Oh, that's the second signature, sorry. Mike going, that doesn't look right. There we go. So, put it on an angle, added the truck back there. OK, 
Okay, so here was one of our pages. You could bring in another napkin. And so I chose the napkin that had the truck and the trailer. And so here's the truck and the trailer. And um, then we added our rogue items, which was my favorite gold tool, the follow law. That was a stamped image and the, the spling here some washi tape. Every time I could use a rogue washi tape, I was using the black and white stripe. I ruffled the checkered paper and put it on the edge here. And there's videos for that. Here's one of my guest checks. This one I had flipped up and made a pocket in the back and added that. Um, this is one of my Franken papers. That was a e great way to add um, to be able to use the wrapping paper and this tissue paper and this note paper on a page. Here we have just an envelope pocket with a note paper in it. And that was made on book page. So there's book paper in there. And note paper that's been decorated here. And then here we have a pocket page. And I added the fluffy inside the pocket okay so you don't see the selvage on either side then I used our paper clip this was from the paper clip video and the truck just kind of hangs down here and it's holding a note paper on and here's another one of our guest checks and this one has a belly band so you could put something in there and there is room to write on the back the paper is coffee dyed here is the some of the tissue paper added to the the other paper and then we have some of the lace this is cut off the burlap and then cut down the middle because it, it has double lace and so there you go we made this belly band using the note paper and the truck this one from one of the napkins added this is part of the napkin here fluffed out with some bling and three note cards to write on here I did wrapping paper, folded it, and then folded it under here, making a pocket. And I did the folding under because I wanted it to be a little more sturdy. Added a sticker from the sticker sheet and the bling and some washi tape there. Here we have a pocket, and this is was a, a square of the checkered paper. And I put it in so that it would give me two large pockets. Excuse me. So I have a large pocket on this side, and there's a large pocket on the other side. Here's some of the roughly. Here we've attached the truck wrapping paper onto some paper. We have our tuck space here. This is the center of the signature. Has a guest check with some of the napkin with fingernail polish and the bling. I added a bling here in the center of the signature. And here we have a stack of note. So it just gives you a place to write on all the different papers. And here we have more of the red truck wrapping paper. Here's the little wallet note that we made. And when I was using the little stampers, I made this tag. I decorated the front of that and it just goes in here. Here we have our flip up, flip down. Gives, and then it's attached to be a tuck spot. Gives us more space for writing. Or you could tuck something in there and add another paper clip that you might just happen to have hanging around. There we go. There we go. Okay, so here's our big pocket. Here's our Dear wrapping paper added the washi tape to the edge for some stability. We have a double pocket here. So this one pulls out and this one pulls out. And this one's made with the napkin. And here we have another tuck space. This is also made with the napkin, some note paper, more of the lace from the burlap and lace. And some of the red truck tissue paper. We have a little penguin up here and 
it's an open a card that you can open and write in um, one of our trims I used the burlap and made a trim for that page then we have the trim truck here on note paper in that pocket you can see the stitching here for the Franken page here we use some of our 30 embellishments that we made and then here we have just the paper clip is holding in um, note paper it's three note papers and they've been stapled together okay so here's the back of the first signature we've got our little paper clip with our trucks and our gold and our little truck up there and then this is one of our franken pages i added some bling here i went ahead and patched those on this is from the napkin and there's the back and i would go ahead and probably write in each of these you know separate part of the story or you could put a picture in here there's lots of things so here is a tissue paper page and i just put two pieces of the tissue paper together actually i folded it up and cut it to fit and then i did add this little note paper or note card there here we have a double pocket page so we have some of the reinforced note paper I guess it's decorated reinforced note paper. A guest check with a Santa stamp on it. Then we have the little pocket down here with one of our 30 embellishments and one of the little gift cards. Okay. Here we have our deer page that is put onto um, coffee dyed paper. And then with this paper clip, we've attached the trailer, guest check, and some note paper. And here we have another little note paper, and we've just added one of the stickers and some bling. Here we have just the wrapping paper, and we've added a sticker here. And believe it or not, just adding the sticker or adding washi tape will make this um, become more a part of the journal and not and not try to fold up as much. Okay, here we have, this is a paper clip and it opens up so you can still use the card or you could go ahead and glue it shut. You have, um, here you have another note card, stack a note card. This one is stapled at the top. So you could pull this out and use it for something else if you wanted. The way that I would probably use this journal is take everything out and start using it and then putting the things in that you wanted to actually use. Here's another note card, note paper top. Here we have a sticker and some bling. This is the center of the signature and we have the checkered paper. This is part of the big napkin because you were able to use the big napkin for your, um, for a page okay for one of the mini challenges and then you could use all the pieces of it throughout so that it didn't get wasted so there's my home for the holidays and we have some franken paper here and um, another truck image with the fingernail polish another paper clip here so you could hold something in there right now it's holding here it's holding the envelope the, it's an envelope note paper so you fold this out you can write in an envelope and you have the little notebook the little red truck notebook with a December calendar and all of these little pages okay so we're just gonna fold this up and so this journal is for sale in my Etsy shop and it is included in the Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday sale, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, so here's the another one of the note papers where we added the um, coffee dyed paper for stability. Here's the other side of this. Here we have a, um, the, this is the other half. 
so when I make this pocket, I usually end up with another one and it becomes a top tuck somewhere. And so this is um, a waterfall. This is a waterfall note card. Okay, so it goes up like like this and you've got places to write it's decorated there is a video on how I made this and um, I love it and then I did add this this is one of the scraps that was left and believe it or not there was still a red truck image sitting in the stickers so I was like well it has to go in here so there you go added some lace from the, the lace I ripped around one of the deer and added it here Around one of the deer and added here. We have another paper clip. All is calm, all is bright. That is from the gift tag page. And i it's just holding in a note paper. Over here we have um, a strip of note paper that is that was put inside the pocket so that it gave a tab added some bling to the tab. Here we have another double pocket. So our little pocket is made from some of the notepad paper. Here's one of our 30 embellishments and we've got a couple of the note papers. Here is a paper clip made out of a gift tag and with the truck and then the gold on the edge. And then Santa was one of the stickers in the on the sticker sheets the word enjoy came from one of the paper pads and this is just a little journal card here we have a tuck spot just like that and it is note paper with a pocket on the back and it just fits right under there it's held on the side has, is, this is helping to hold this on and keep it in. And then this is the last page and you've got Santa because he showed up. This journal has 60 pages, large and small, and which is um, perfect for December daily if you're just writing and putting in images from that. Again, like I said, I would pull all of the ephemera out and then add in as I was filling the journal but how you do it is up to you and um, so we just need a tie for this and I'm going rogue with my tie and I'm going to use the jute string because I think the lace is just too um, be too too pretty for a red truck journal and I think the burlap is too too big and to get it small it will be fray and mess be frayed and messy so here we go adding some of the Dollar Tree jute and there you go okay so that is my red truck journal that I made for the November dollar store Christmas junk journal challenge Today is November 30th, tomorrow's December 1st, so we will have a brand new challenge tomorrow, um, and so I'm looking forward to that, so watch for that video and that group to open, and I hope you will join us, and don't forget, in January, we are doing the return of the January Just Junk Journal Challenge. I'm telling you that so that you can be saving your junk. But do know that the, the rules and things will be different than last January. It will be a different challenge. I just want you, you know, if you find the perfect um, things that you might be wanting to use in it, I can guarantee that you will be using privacy envelopes. So if you um, want to save those throughout the month of December, that, th that kind of thing. So hint, hint, January will be, be just a junk journal. And I hope you enjoyed this. I do have the um, playlist for the videos of me making this journal and for all of the mini challenges in the description box down below as well as 
the information for the November challenge um, group and you're welcome to still join there we'd love to have you come and see what everybody's done they'll be posting all day their finished um, their finished items it's been pretty exciting it's kind of fun to make a journal with 15 excuse me with just 15 items and and it's also quite challenging so thanks for being here. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.